Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to see how to combine two or more projects into a single project. For that, let's go to new in models and let's choose mechanical template. For example, create new project and click on OK. So now in this template, you can open any of the elevation, let's say East Elevation. Okay, and uh, as you can see in this piece, elevation we have by default level one and level two. So now let's create some projects. Uh, let's go to the system and let's select that and let's create some dark projects. So here we have the first project, and then one more, and then let's create a pipe riser system and select pipe. So here we have the like this, vertical, change the way to find and shape it, okay. So here we have three risers basically, two dark and one part. Now what we will do, we will divide these risers along level two. Okay. Go to modify and here we have this split element. Select it and split the risers. So as you can see, I'm splitting them. Take the middle part and delete it. Okay, now let's align the risers to the level. And same from the bottom. Okay, now uh, as you can see, the risers are divided into two different parts. Okay. Half of the part is at level one and half of the part is at level two. Okay, so the remaining part is at level two. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to create two projects out of this one project. In project first, the entities at level one will be stored and the rest of the entities will be deleted. In project two, the entities at level two will be stored and the rest of the entities will be deleted. So let's do it. Let's create project first. And let's select the entities at level two and let's delete them. So in project one, only the entities at level one will be stored. So now we'll go to file, go to save as, and then go to project. And let's save this project as on the desktop as project number one. And now let's go to options and maximum budget, let be one, okay. And Save it. So now project one has been saved with the entities at level one only. Okay, after saving, let's control Z undo to bring the rises back. Okay, now we need to create project two for that. Select the entities at level one and delete them. Okay, so the entities are only at level two now. Go to file, save as project and then go to desktop and let's save the project as project two and save it. So now we have two different projects from a single project, project two and project one. So now let's see how to combine these projects. For that, let's open any of the projects. So right now we have this project two open. So in this project, we can bring or insert project one and combine it. So let's see how to combine them. So in this project two, let's insert, go to insert and link Revit, link Revit, and then select project first, position auto internal origin to internal origin, and click on OK. So now you will see Revit will create a link of project one. So here we have this link of project one in project two. Now, with this link, you cannot make any modification. To make the modification in this link, you have to remove this link. For that, select the link, and now you have to go to bind link. Click on bind link. After this, you will see this bind link option. It includes attached level, levels, and grids. If you want to include these things, you have to check them. Right now, we need only attached details, okay? Because we have these details over here. Click on okay. Uh, so here we have the warning. After 
this warning you can so here we have the warning that the link will be removed okay this link will be removed and let's see what will be next remove link so removing the link you will see that uh, these entities are now forming a group okay so we need to ungroup them so for that select this group and we have this option ungroup click over here and now you will see these entities are ungrouped and behaving as individual identities okay now if you want to create values you can simply join these two parts for that go to modify and here we have this option then extend to corner select it and then select both the values okay so now you will see here we have a single value now select the duct now we have a single duct and the same with the last duct okay. now you can select and you see that uh, the rivals have been combined into a single project okay and now let's go to the 3d view and in the 3d view here you will see the rivals are combined into a one by just using a simple method called bind link in Revit. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.